Jessica. Woo. Good morning, Jessica. In the story Rapunzel, the main character grows her hair so that her friends can climb up to, to meet her in the tower. If you could have your friends climb up something, what would it be? <laughs> this is ironic because I'm getting a haircut later. <laughs> um, probably a rope ladder. Because <laughs> it would make the most sense. And I wouldn't want him to struggle trying to climb up just like a regular rope or string or anything. So, yeah, a ladder would be good. Um, we live in modern times, so I'm pretty sure we could get one a lot more easily than trying to tie a bunch of sheets together or something. <laughs> like some other <laughs> people. <laughs> uh, but I told myself if I got up here, I would also talk on some of the other questions that were asked. <laughs> so with regard to the genies, uh, there's, it's interesting because we get the concept of the genie from India. And over there, they have a completely different version of what a genie really is. They call them jinn. And jinn were more like natural spirits that you really wouldn't want to come across. <laughs> and they, they would cause sandstorms and things, and they did not grant wishes. So I don't know how that concept came over to America, but that was an interesting twist that we put on it. And then as far as a fairy tale that I would probably change, that would be the tale of Rumpelstiltskin, just because I thought it was kind of creepy how he wanted to take babies away from women in return for gold. But he wouldn't tell them that until later. He's like, oh, I just want something that you'll give me a little on down the road. And they thought it would be like a horse or something with the gold that they would get. And then they're like, all right, I'll take your firstborn now. <laughs> So that, that story was a little weird, and if I could change anything, I would make him request a pony or something. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
you're doing. I think that when you're talking about something that's going to affect a whole nation, for example, if you, if you come across as somebody who doesn't seem very passionate about it or doesn't seem very affected by the other side's viewpoint, you might come across as apathetic, so I think that that can work against you. I think that the issue, though, is sometimes when you're so passionate about it, it's really hard to stay on time. So I think being polite is not a fairy tale, but being on time <laughs> can absolutely be a fairy tale when you have so many really great things to say. So overall, yes, uh, yes, you can be polite during a debate, and if you can't envision, envision, envis say it with me now, envisage. Oh, we all got credit. <laughs>